than even 210. Weights blow. Or is he really getting quick? Joe Bugner has been in. And it was going just like this. Carl Williams against Truth. Call the Truth Williams against Tillis. Williams now one of the top heavyweights. A swing and a miss with the left hook by Holyfield. Tillis goes to the body, it falls short. Around 80 degrees, and I wonder that Tillis only arrived here about two days ago. Well, this high altitude, the thin air. Field in the dark trunks, James Quick Tillis. Around 5'11", a man who's still... Tillis managed and trained by the person... Holyfield, Tillis keeping his... Wrapped up one more time as Steele says, come on, watch the holding, James. On the rope, Holyfield holding card to let Tillis know, trying to keep his... A hard right hand to the mouth by Holyfield, who starts it. In a good round for Holyfield. They continue to mix it up after the bell. Tillis looks dazed, and now there's a real Donnie Brook in the corner between Bo Williford and Captain Lou Duke. And we're gonna have a look exactly what happened. Holyfield came in as the bell was ringing. They kept going at it. It didn't look like either guy really started it. And they start going at it, but there, Lou Duva grabbed Tillis, and Bo Williford didn't like that. It's there, tag team match. Holyfield tries a puncher's ring, a little under 18 feet inside the ropes. It was not a very good year. You'll see here on Mnet, August 13th. Evander and Tillis traded jabs. Evander took the worst of it, but now on the head. Tonight, we're coming to you from Caesars Tahoe. Out in the back of the hotel, they've built a makeshift arena and a standing room only crowd of around 5,000 make his debut. Certainly Tillis has proven himself against heavyweights. Holyfield pulls out with that jab. It's a hard jab, a ramrod jab. Steel comes in. We're in round five. Holyfield is being nullified as he's trying those head shots. All those are picked off. The body shot got through, and it hurt Tillis. A hard right hand has Tillis in trouble. Bobbing and weaving is Tillis, who's in trouble, who's hurt. A right hand just catches him on the jaw. He backs up near his own corner. Hold on. About 30 seconds remain in round five. Driving the body shots. Tillis in his eyes. And a left uppercut by Holyfield. He's coming in, loading up, showing bad intentions on his punches. Right uppercut by Holyfield. Holyfield misses with a left hook. That'll be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. August 13th. Be with us here on MNET. The fight is over! See the whole sequence here of punches which did it. I believe it was, well this is near the end of the whole flurry. A left uppercut just about to go.